you ever play roulette? Well, let me offer you a word of advice. Always bet on triple black. Before we start talking about the shoe, I have to give a jeer, a thumbs down, if you will, a dislike, perhaps, to JD Sports. No, not for getting me the shoes, because I got the shoes in a timely manner, but for the second straight time, I got a damaged box. They don't double box when they ship, so it's basically the box and then a plastic bag around it. So of course it's gonna get destroyed in travel. And truth be told, unless you're a sneakerhead or a sneakerhead type, probably not gonna care that much about the shoe box. But still, would it kill you to double box? If you've been watching the channel, you know this is my second review of the Ultra Boost Climber, this time in the triple black colorway. So let's get to it, to it, to it. The first thing that I noticed when I opened the shoe was the toe box. In fact, I don't know that they actually call this triple black, and if they do, I guess it's triple black, but it's triple black guest starring some white, specifically on the toe box area. It starts at the edge of the front part of the cage, goes all the way across the front of the toe box, and comes all the way back to the medial side of the front part of the cage. You will also see some of the white yarn underneath the black on the remainder of the shoe, but it is its most present at the toe box at the front of the shoe. The other thing that you'll notice in regards to color are the aglets. The aglets are not black. They are white. They are off-white. And I suppose the reason these aglets are white is to match the white on the toe box that is also spread out very sparsely through the rest of the shoe. So really, it's not a true triple black. As with the Triple White Climate Cool Shoes, I ordered a size 9, which is my normal size in Ultra Boost, meaning I'm consistently a size 9, as I've mentioned time and time again. When it comes to the Pharrells, I'm about an 8.5, and, and when it comes to the Easy 350 V2s, I'm about a 10. So I go between those sizes. I do believe that a size 9 is just a little bit too big for me. My smallest foot has about a thumb's width of space between the tip of my toe and the edge of the shoe. So I think I could have gone down to a size 8.5. I do have the gray climate cools coming in and I got those in size 8.5. So I'm anxious to see if that actually works better for me or not. Rest assured, there'll be a review coming. As we've already discussed, on the toe box you have that dark black yarn with some hints of gray and the aforementioned white yarn. The ventilation holes are much thicker to allow wind and air and blah 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 to come in to cool your feet off. Move around to your cage, which is still that Climate Cool technology, and it has your three stripes, which stick out. I guess that's embossed, right? And that leads up to some really cool eyelets. While the eyelets are not suede, they feel very suede-like. It's a nice feeling material. As they say, buttery. I'm not going to say shattered backboard buttery. Eh? Eh? No, that doesn't work. Okay, whatever and it holds the flat black laces. They're kind of thin, nothing special about the laces, and again, the aforementioned white aglets. On the top of the tongue, you have your Adidas branding in a carbon black type color. And as I mentioned, you have the black and white yarn going all the way on the one piece upper, back around and around to the front. Your heel cup is matte black in what we assume is a 3D printed layered heel cup with your murdered out glossy black Ultra Boost writing. Mm, mm, mm. And then you have all black Boost. I know it's the same material as white Boost, but if you're like me, and a lot of you are, triple black Boost, man, it's just like, whoo, right? Am I right? Anyway, it's your standard triple black Ultra Boost midsole. It's great, feels good. If you love it, you love it. If you hate it, sorry about you. On the medial side of the shoe, you have your black torsion system that kind of blends into the boost, but doesn't, but is supposed to. And on the bottom of the shoe, you have your standard black continental outsole with the continental logo work underneath the toe box in gray, and then the torsion system in a turquoise blue. It's an interesting color choice. You don't see that blue anywhere else on the shoe, but it's there. On the inside of the shoe, you have your black honeycomb material that sits on top of the boost. And yes, you can see through it to the boost. My particular pair seems to have black stained boost, but my feet go on there, so it's not really that big of a deal. And then you have a black insole with your white boosty McBoosters and font. And for a little added touch, silver boost writing underneath the tongue, above the sticker with all the shoe info. So let's see these suckers on feet, shall we?
today on Sneaker Twitter. They're already putting the triple white and the triple black comic cools on sale, but I had to have these shoes early because I wanted you guys to get a good view on it. That way you can decide what you wanted to get and to talk about the shoe size because like I said, I think they run a little large. But hey, them's the brakes, right? Brakes, shoes, feet, am I right? Why don't you let me know in the comments down below if you rock with the triple black climate cools. Since the last video, we crossed 475 subscribers, so thank you and shout out to all of you who took time out to click that red subscribe button. Prayer emojis for all. If you like what I'm doing, leave us a thumbs up on this video. And if you haven't already, maybe consider clicking that red subscribe button. I'd appreciate it. And as always, thanks for watching. Stay tuned and just chill to the next episode.